And so it begins. Despite triple threats being every man for himself, history has shown that the match's dynamics can create unlikely alliances. A participant must be ready to endure double team attacks at any time. The unpredictability of a triple threat match makes this almost impossible to predict. Any one of these three could walk out of here the winner. Oh, this is dangerous right here. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. Oh, God, that hurt. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Harsh impact. Broad hole. It's over. Oh, look at it. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh my goodness, this hurts. Oh! Cedric Alexander really seems to thrive when it comes to tournaments. In 2016, he had a classic match against Kota Ibushi in the Cruiserweight Classic. Two years later, a tournament got him in a championship match at WrestleMania. Byron mentioned Cedric winning his way to WrestleMania in 2018 via the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament. I'd argue that he had the toughest road to WrestleMania. I'm not going to argue with you, Cole. I mean, he took on the Cruiserweight Classic runner-up, and then the guy that won the Cruiserweight Classic, and then Roderick Strong, and then Mustafa Ali. And then he finally won the Cruiserweight Championship. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Face first. we're gonna see here hung up on the second neck breaker he's bringing it back inside the ring now love to the back up into the electric chair power bomb we got a cover. Oh boy, he is rolling out. That wasn't even close to three. Just needs to do more damage. Uh oh. Look at this power bomb. Cedric Alexander is one of the most highly touted cruiserweights in recent history, but his road to the cruiserweight championship took a lot of twists and turns. Yeah, Michael, a lot of us expected to see Cedric contend for the shoulders are down. And kick it out is Cedric Alexander. Cedric Alexander proving he's no pushover with that kick out. Uh-oh. S-O-S. Nil. Incredible. You guys mentioned Cedric Alexander's path to the Cruiserweight Championship. He was actually number one contender before the tournament started, but had to compete in the Cruiserweight Championship tournament just like everybody else. A lesser man would have complained or put less than his best effort in, but it made Cedric fight harder than ever. It took almost two years, but Cedric Alexander became Cruiserweight Champion on the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Bringing it back between the ropes.
Not so fast. Love to the back. Up into the electric chair. Got it. Like well, that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Gets out of the way of that one. This might be it. Oh, my. Neckbreaker. Ouch. One. You're not going to win many matches that easily. Very nice. Oh. Seven. Two. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. Somehow, Cedric stays in this. Oh boy, he is rolling. The sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. Discussing strategy against Cedric Alexander earlier, Corey mentioned Cedric's knee injury. Do you think that's a sound move, Byron? I don't know, Michael. A truly serious injury forces a competitor to change their moveset. Cedric is still burying those knees in the backs on a weekly basis with the lumbar check. I think he came back from that injury stronger than ever. The sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. In February of 2017, SmackDown Live was lit thanks to an e oh, kick out. Gonna take more than that. Boom! <laughs> oh boy, he is rolling. There he goes, crashing to the floor. It's not often that the WWE Championship is incapacitated before a title defense. John Cena and AJ Styles rekindled the rivalry with a renewed enthusiasm for destroying one another. Bray Wyatt ended the match and made up for lost time as the Eater of Worlds used his body as a weapon. It was pure chaos as AJ Styles followed suit with an unbelievable array of aerial attacks on both superstars. And John Cena continued to fight back in hopes of winning. Look at this. Not much behind that pin attempt. Gonna take a whole lot more. Cedric Alexander's in trouble. Big move coming. Cover, cover. And he doesn't stay down for long. Cedric Alexander proving he's no pushover with that kick out. Oh boy, he is rolling. What's he going to do with it? Beautiful technique. Here we go. We got a rope break. He's in big trouble. And the triple threat is over. This place is going nuts. 